right guys, so we're just buttoning up the Hemi now. I got some ATF Plus 4 from the good old Walmart because it's like 2 or $3 cheaper at court than anywhere else. And it's made by Coastal, I believe. So still a name brand and just much cheaper. Along with all Walmart's oil. I think Coastal makes everything for them. Uh, so you guys hear me call this a Hemi a lot. That's because it is. And one, the other thing is I have two Grand Cherokees. You guys haven't seen my other one yet. I have a 96 inline six uh, with like 200 something on it, 220 close to there, 1,000 miles on it. So uh, my wife says Grand Cherokee and I always have to ask which one, so I got sick of that. So I just call this one the Hemi. It just helps things out. Uh, also, uh, I think it's awesome that I finally own a Hemi. So, we got the exhaust put on. You can see that in one of my other videos. Uh, it went on real good uh, if you're thinking about doing it. But, um, I think she's ready to go now. We only got a couple things left to do. We got to do parking brake shoes on it and something else. Oil change. But we might wait on that because it doesn't need to get inspected for another month and we got some other cool stuff coming in. There's a Focus ST coming in, 2014 turbo factory race car deal. He's got some cool stuff on it, Cobb, full bolt-on car. Um, so we have some issues with that that we got to take a look at. So check our other videos out and you'll see that coming up shortly. Also that F-150 is coming back in guys. We're going to do a head job on that. Uh, 4.9 liter had a P0171 code and we found uh, low compression on cylinder 5 I think it was so if you want to check out that you can check that out in my uh, playlist so I gotta take off the caliper here Go fried brake pads. on here. This side here goes to 
this side. Cheat again. Put your new pin in through the back. Keep these slides clean. And then this O-ring goes on top, locks in the rotor as well. That makes it nice because it holds it there to adjust it. <laughs> I do want to adjust these. There's a window on the back side for the adjustment. Alright, back here. Around the back side, it's a little hard to see, is where the adjustment is for the park and brake shoes. I made it so it's tight, now I'm just going to back it off. And that's it. Hey Carl, do you mind going in there and hitting the e-brake? How's that? Yeah, it might be a little too tight. Release? 
Perfect. It only gets into the first click until it stops moving. They are actually real loose, and when that rust comes off, you're going to be up a couple more clicks probably. Yeah. But yeah, they're, they're not even rubbing. 